East Brunswick Public Library is currently displaying artwork by local artist Harvey Rogerson. Stop by the library throughout the month of December to check out Harvey's work. I think I was about uh, 12 or 13, and uh, I've always had uh, this, this knack for drawing. And uh, as I got a little older, I started uh, using oil paints. Uh, my cousin Janet uh, turned me on because she had a class up in Paramus, New Jersey. And I visited her class once, and I was so enthralled by the smell of the linseed oil and also by uh, the still lives and, uh, that she painted and the landscapes that she painted and the, also the people in the class uh, painted. So I started using color after uh, starting out sketching, and uh, I went from there. I stopped uh, painting uh, for about 20-some-odd uh, years until the kids uh, graduated high school and went to college. And, uh, I had a cousin who also turned me on to, uh, as a matter of fact, my cousin Janet's husband, who turned me on to pastels. He gave me a set of pastels, and I worked with them, and uh, I had no idea how to work with them. It, it just uh, ended up working. That, that was the medium I loved. The, the colors, um, it's, it's not like mixing them on a palette like you would do with oil painting. Uh, it's, you, you actually mix the colors, a multitude of colors, the array of colors, uh, pure pigment, on the canvas or on the paper itself. Uh, and that, that uh, shortcutted. Also, the cleaning uh, was a lot easier than having turpentine around the house. Or, but the colors were the most fantastic things you can get. Uh, I think there are more colors that you could find in pastels uh, than you can find in any medium. What do you find that uh, inspires you? Oh, there's so many things. First, my family inspires me. Uh, my wife, Elaine, uh, my daughter, her uh, husband, my daughter uh, Amy, her husband Rob, my son Brett, uh, they just push it on. They show me pictures that they take when they go away. They take them specifically for me because most of my paintings are done uh, from photographs. I, my detailed paintings, as you can see, uh, can't be done outside. The clouds move, the light changes. Uh, and, and especially um, the change of light, this change of seasons. Uh, the season I love the most is, is autumn, fall. Uh, autumn, I say first, because it changes the colors of the leaves. Uh, fall, after the leaves fall down, fall on the ground, it also shows the array of color that's shown. Of course, I said before, pastels have a lot of color, so I can exude my colors on the painting. Um, the, the time of day, um, especially at dusk, when the light hits the, the top of the trees, it's absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Uh, uh, I call it the warmth of the day. Um, and uh, that's basically what I, what I find as being uh, the most attractive things about it. Uh, other than that, I guess it's, it's Mother Earth. Uh, she turns me on. Well, uh, the way I start is I sketch on paper. I work with sanded paper. Uh, that uh, gives you the adherence to, of the pastel to the paper. They call that tooth. Um, I could apply at least 25 to 30 layers on top of this sanded paper. Um, uh, when, I, when I paint on this paper, uh, I do layer upon layer till I get what I want. That's called value. Not, not the value uh, of the painting price-wise, but the value to my eye. And what I, when I feel it's, it's correct to mat it, put glass behind it, and frame it. There's a painting on the other wall uh, that I uh, took a photograph at uh, Farrington Lake and uh, it was just a, a quick photograph. Uh, my wife was pulling me by the arm and, and I just went click and, and when I got it home I said, whoa, this is really nice. So I, I painted it on a small venue. I painted it on a six by six uh, piece of sanded paper and it's already framed. I do sell my work outside. I do shows. My, uh, my paintings are numbered and they coordinate with a pricing guide that I left at the information desk. Uh, you could find it there, just ask the information person uh, and she'll give you a listing. Uh, it's coordinated, the numbers are coordinated, the name of the painting is on it and the price is on it. And of course they're all pastel. All my paintings uh, come framed uh, with glass and matting. Uh, they come wired. I wire them in the back, uh, and it's just one total package. Uh, other than putting bubble wrap and protecting them, uh, because uh, a lot of these paintings are, are close to me, close to my heart, 
I'd rather protect them with the bubble wrap and deliver them to the person if need be. And if, if somebody wants to uh, hire me to, to do some work for them, all I have to do is just show me a photograph or give me an idea of what they would like, and then I would work something out with them. I would prefer that they would call me up at, uh, on my cell number at 732-887-0198 uh, or uh, at home uh, at 732-238. 2354. I'll make myself available. I find that um, I've always wanted to be an impressionist. Um, I followed all the old artists. Um, a lot of the artists um, uh, did their work outside, uh, real life, plain air as they call it. Uh, the way I detail, uh, I cannot do that. Um, I have to work uh, from a photograph because uh, it takes me a long time to produce one painting. It doesn't matter what size the painting is. Uh, it'll take me a lot longer to do it than if I went outside. Uh, plus, I'm self-taught, so um, I'd rather work with uh, explicit detailing than Impressionism, even though I'd like to be an Impressionist somewhat. If there's one thing close to my heart other than my family, and my family will always be number one, is, is art. I go to galleries, I go to museums, wherever I go, whether it's when I travel, whether I go into the city, whether it's out here, uh, art will always be in my heart and I'll always continue doing it. And there is no more inspiration than what's, what's here.